the first experience I had was last week. Uh, I, I was at an esports tournament hall. It was kind of like the one that I completed at a few weeks ago. You know, I, I competed in that tournament. Uh, but this time I wasn't competing. Uh, I was actually in the stands with all the other people, which is weird. I'm not usually there. When I looked at the stage, I saw that Ninja was there. You know Ninja, that streamer guy? I hate that guy, man. He thinks he's so good at Fortnite. And he's so cool and has so much money because he's so good. Bro, I could kick his ass any day. Destroy that sorry excuse for a streamer. He does not deserve all the clout he gets. I should be the one getting as much clout as he has. But anyways, he was competing, so I started booing. Uh, and then I noticed that he was competing against Rebazar. I was like, hey, Rebazar, my man. And I clapped and I cheered for him. And the people around me all looked at me like I was crazy. I guess they're all ninja fans. Idiots. Then Ninja and Rebazar started playing Fortnite. And the game showed up on big screen in the middle. It was a wild match and it was really close. I had no idea that Rebazar was this good at Fortnite. He, he was using the scope pistol, which is my weapon of choice as well, so that's sick. He's got good taste. Ninja was using three snipers, which is super lame because those are so OP this season. A at one point, though, Ninja found Rebazar and snuck up on him. And I tried to yell out to Rebazar, but he couldn't hear me over the cheering in the stands. And Ninja got a good hit on him. But Rebazar used a shockwave grenade to get out of there before Ninja could finish him off. And then he started singing the new you, and he ate some corn to heal. Which is kind of interesting to me. I don't know why he didn't use a med kit, but whatever. I trust Rebazar to know what he's doing if he's going up against Ninja. Then he used some more shockwave grenades to jump back over to Ninja. And he threw down a turret. And he took out his shield. And then he just waited there for Ninja to take down his shield while the turret got damaged in. And after that, he was free to use the scope pistol, and it was an easy dub for Rebazar. He, like, immediately hit the gritty on Ninja when the Fortnite Victory Royale text came on screen. Big respect for Rebazar. That dude is great at Fortnite. I jumped out of the stands and went over to sing the new you with Rebazar, and I dabbed on Ninja. I told him how stupid he is and how dumb his hair looks. And that, that was all that happened in that one. It was pretty cool. Well, they set that up for you so that you could have some fun, Eric, and see that, uh, you know, um, yeah, everything's cool. And, you know, the people in the stands, they're cheering for some lame dude, etc. That's really nothing. And so uh, Rebazar is sitting there. It's not about competition or anything that he was just playing with the kid, etc. Just putting on a little show is all. But uh, no, that's just that's an excellent experience. You should write these and put them on Facebook, share them uh, because it's sharing the new youth. This is how you become more aware. Okay, see, all life is about awareness, and when you understand that. It's not about things, okay? We have things in creation. Creation is different. It's just a little ball of clay. But it's about awareness. And as we learn about this and we become more aware, like the sun shining, we want to share it because this is what supports us, is becoming more aware. Not the things on earth. That's just creation. That doesn't really support us. We're just moving through all this stuff that's created or we create or the environment or whatever. Yeah, we have an environment around us that, you know, helps support us. It's all set up. And then at the same time, we create things to support ourselves. But this is not it because we just grow old here and go into more lifetimes. And so as we wake up to become more aware, we also want to share this with others and help them become more aware because then we're all aware and that's how we survive with our awareness, not through the bodies. The body is just a step. These bodies are just steps to go through and eventually 
we're beings of light that are all aware and you know we're automatically supported by what life is because we're one with life so in the meantime we're here while we're here we're helping others become more aware because that helps you escape this creation matrix and become more aware you see and so again you have this opportunity just like in your experience here see Rebazar has just set up the stage to play this game so that there you are there he is in front of these people just to do something and you know whatever they think it's a step at a time whatever they think oh they think okay Rebazar is cool he can do this or whatever he's better than the ninja guy whatever he's not trying to prove that that's not the idea Step one is just getting other people's attention. That's all. Just getting their attention, first of all. And then, see, it's your turn because he's your backup. And that is, is that you're Eric Gamer and you know these things. This is your position. And that is, you know these people, you know the situation. And uh, again, this is your opportunity to tell them about the new you and even ninja or whatever. It's like, hey, dude, start singing the new you and you'll do better. Yeah, you'll wise up. See, so it's it's an open invitation for you to meet all these people that are onlookers. Yeah, very real. Yeah, very real. There was uh, one of the fellas that I met like you who came to. Uh, one of the sessions I did months ago, uh, Nikolai, okay? And um, he had one of the experience, real side experiences where uh, uh, beside his house, attached to his house, was this big auditorium where, you know, there would be performance and, you know, just like, you know, going to the opera or something like that, stage and seats and all that big, big auditorium because uh nikolai is a performer he's just you know he's a small time performer he gets little gigs here and there etc but he was shown on the real side uh this big auditorium attached to his house now the house is the personal consciousness that's your consciousness that's where the real you lives you might say in its created consciousness that's what the house represents and so you take a look at your house, and that's basically how it is. That's your consciousness. And so I was saying that, oh, well, this is the, an opportunity. What's, what's being shown here is, is that as you go along here and you step up and do the new you and you share it with others, well, you're going to have, uh, you know, you're going to be performing for these others. You're going to have the opportunity and privilege to perform and share others, uh, the new you, et cetera, to help you become more aware of them also. And this is what the auditorium exemplifies. It's not just a small place, but it's a big place where, uh, you know, it's like you're going to be the star and they're going to see what you're doing. And these are going to be your supporters, et cetera. And then you're going to support them with what you're sharing, you see. So again, the boys see the opportunity and they give hints is what they do. So your position is the same here. It was a setup for you to meet others, you see, and to be there and see how it works. Rebazar is showing you how to work, another works, how it works. In other words, just like you're saying, oh, I'm not usually in the stands. No, you're he's showing you that no, you get down on the playing field so everybody can see you. That's the whole idea. In other words, Step up, go out there, spread the new you, let everybody see you. Yeah, very important. The world's dying, and we don't know how long, how much longer it's going to last. That's very real. The elites are planning to destroy this entire planet. Very real, no joke. So again, there's only so much time. So there you go. There's your opportunity, and you're very, uh, very fortunate that you can recognize Rebazar because. Usually it takes a lot of people a, lot, a long time, uh, most people a long time to have that recognition, Eric. Yeah, don't take it for granted because I've seen many people who have and they just lose everything and they got, you got nothing then. 
because here's the real guidance for you. It's cool. So wait, does Repazar play with kids often? Is that what you were saying? It's not that he plays with them. They, you know, just like myself, what they do is, you know, yeah, you do that. But of course, uh, he's a person. But for the most part, uh, he's interested in each person that's willing to become more aware and wake up to set something up. Yeah, for them to do better. That's the whole idea is, yeah, we play around a little bit, but not all the time. You know, you know, it's it's almost like a serious business, you know, like the sun shining. The sun isn't playing around. It's shining. It's shining every moment. Do you see how do you see how precious that is? Do you see how sincere that is? It doesn't stop shining. It does it every single moment. And look at the people on the earth. What are they doing? Withering away their lives with no awareness hardly at all and just getting old and poisoning themselves and then going into more lifetimes that are worse. How does that make sense? It doesn't. It's stupid. You know, we've come around to where things are so stupid in the last couple hundred years of how, how bad the planet's become, but everybody's agreeing. Almost everybody agrees. And it's okay to be stupid. Oh. I don't agree with that. It's nonsense. I don't want anything to do with it. I'm always looking to promote something that makes sense and wonderful. Yeah, that's so much better. 